Ooh, look at these playing card nails. <laughs> We're going to do these today. So if you want to see how I done them, keep watching. Hello. So I just need to let you know, these nails are inspired by, I'm going to put them on the screen here. So if you're in the US, there's a, a brand of playing cards called Bicycle Cards that are, I think it's like one of the biggest brands in the US. Um, they've got some really nice Disney cards and I've wanted to do a set of playing card nails for a little while. And I saw these Mickey Mouse cards and I thought, I know what I'm going to do. So if you want to see a part two, because I might do a hand painted Mickey Mouse nail to go with the four like card suit nails that we've done today. So let me know down below if you want to see a part two of a hand painted Mickey and I will get cracking on that. Otherwise, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Right, so I've got my Madame Glam gel polish here. I'm going to use Shaker or Shaka. I'm never quite sure how to say it, but it's a really nice kind of strawberry milkshake pink and it is slightly on the sheer side. So it would make a really nice base for a French nail. It's one of my favourites. My dog is sitting at the bottom of the bed, waggling his tail. Jump up if you want to get up, your silly sausage. He's been silly billy. Uh, so give this one coat and then you're going to need... I'll give it 60 seconds and then give it a second coat. Um, we're going to use the Madame Glam black and white gel paints for this. We're going to use those to draw on the the suits the card suits i'm going to top coat with the velvet matte top coat i have running out of top coat so it seemed to take me forever to top coat them <laughs> so i skip forward right i'm going to draw on with a mechanical pencil a heart if you are not very good at drawing hearts on the screen here these are nail sugars hearts and stars outlines they would be perfect the decals they'd be perfect for these nails they also do smaller hearts on that sheet of decals so if you're doing this on smaller nails uh you yeah you've got all the different sizes there and you can save 10 percent as well on nail sugar using my code that mug 10 right now i've done my outline i'm going to fill the outline in with the corresponding color is that the right word well you know you know the the in a deck of cards the heart and the diamonds are red and then the clubs and the spades are obviously black. Um, I love playing cards. I used to collect playing cards, but my collection never got very big. But I've always had a thing about playing cards and I've wanted to do, um, oh, we're gonna do a heart at the bottom as well, facing in the other direction. There we go. So we're gonna do that on all the nails with the different suits, right? So now I've got my clubs, my hearts, my spades, my diamonds. Right, there we go, okay. Um, don't worry that they look a little bit, uh, I don't know what the word is. Anyway, look, right, we're going to need caviar beads. These are silver caviar beads. I'm also going to be using my Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix. You can get these and the caviar beads from Crystal Parade. Um, you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. I'm going to put a little bit of my Crystal Fix onto my palette and then I'm just going to tip out some of the caviar beads because it just makes, makes my life easier at this point. Um, this part of the nails... Not this part actually this is not too bad but what you're going to do is just take some with a liner brush take some of the gem glue not the you know the crystal fix and you're going to place it around the outside of the hearts now i would add a slightly healthy you know healthy amount but don't worry if you don't because we are going to fill the beads in with top coat so the top coat that we fill the the inside of the heart with should keep the beads in place so yeah don't panic too much right now this is the part that is extremely tedious if you're doing these nails but i love how it turned out in the end uh, like the whole i just yeah i just i just love the whole thing <laughs> i don't know why i just fell in love with this set so there we go. Um, I've got an itchy eyeball. It also um, this kind of this kind of style reminds me a little bit of the um, the Van Cleef jewelry. Um, I didn't know what Van Cleef was until the other day, so don't think that I'm trendy because I'm absolutely not. Um, they're also a ridiculously priced. Um, 
the the jewelry is it's just the, the price of the jewelry is crazy um <clears throat> so that's that's all i'm saying oh, but you can have something similar on your nails for a lot less Ta-da! <laughs> Give me my little Swarovski, I lo- although Swarovski, I mean, compared to Van Cleef, my Swarovski jewellery is like pennies, but, you know, it's still, I'd say Swarovski is kind of expensive costume jewellery, but I love, oh, I love Swarovski. Anyway, look, once you have completely covered the heart, you just make sure there are no gaps. You want there to be no gaps, really, because otherwise your top coat might flood out. But once you're happy, get that in the lamp quick so that they don't move around and you can flash cure them and then you're going to do the same on the bottom one i'm not going to show you me doing the bottom one because you'll be bored to death and we don't want that so now that you have fully cured your gem glue uh, or your crystal fix you're going to fill the hearts in with shiny top coat uh, i've only right do little dollops to start with you don't want to put too much in in case you flood and it like it floods over the outside just put a little bit in and then use your detailer brush just to move the top coat to the edges now you want to make sure you've got enough in because you want these to look sort of 3d you don't want them to look flat so every now and then i will add teddy stop it i will add i'm sorry if you can hear him going in the background i'm quite sure what he wants he's got the ball right next to him um yeah so just keep adding um until you feel like they are full enough and sometimes I just turn them upside down before I pop them in my lamp. But that is, that's, oops, there we go. That's pretty much what we're aiming for. Something like that. And then you're obviously going to want to do the same thing on all the others. I was worried about the clubs and the spades because of the little stalky bits. But actually it turned out fine. It was, it was all right. Right, I've grabbed my... These are my clear Preciosa crystals. These are also from Crystal Parade with my Crystal Katana. And because this set of nails are Mickey, sorry, this set of cards that I showed you at the beginning are Mickey nails, what I decided to do was just add some little clear crystals in the shape of like Mickey heads. So I'm adding a bigger crystal. And then for the ears, we're obviously going to do two slightly smaller ones. And I'm using my Crystal Fix just to add you know to secure these to the nail if you're putting these on a client um you could right because not everyone is going to want really long nails like these but you can do the shapes smaller you can just have one of each card suit like just one heart or one club or one spade so yeah you don't have to have two but because my swatch sticks are really long obviously i've put two on so, and again you don't have to put three mickey heads on you can just do one or two. I've done like between one to well, like between one and three on each of these nails. But if you're doing this on a client, I would just go around the outside of these Mickey heads with some matte top coat just to keep them secure because I haven't done that on this. So I'd imagine if these were on a client, they'd probably pop off quite quickly because they're not super secure. So I'm going to do the same thing on these. I'm just going to wipe over with some isopropyl alcohol. Don't forget to give this video a like, by the way. And that is then done. And if you liked these nails, I think you might like one of these too. So give them a watch. <laughs> See you in the next one.